Alrighty. Is this thing working? Is it on? Looks like it is. Okay, wow. Yes, good. Okay, cool. I always have to make take a few seconds just to check that um, YouTube is behaving. So, welcome back to a bit of satisfactory chill stream. I've done a bunch of running around to gather a few resources. So we have a number of unlocks. Haven't built anything. Just did a bit of a explore. So the first thing is, which of these to unlock? We completed hard drive analysis. Um, that's lame. Maybe that. I do have other things to worry about. So first of all, oh, actually, oh, I've got to pick stuff out of the box. I've gathered so much random stuff. Uh, what do I want to put back in the box? Boring plate. Take more of that. I'll oh, take one of those back. Okay, cool. We've got heaps of sulfur now, so we can do some unlocks here. The first one actually I want is to unlock the legs which I now can make, thank goodness. What's next here? Inventory slots. Yes, I will get that in a second. I haven't got these guys yet. Do have that. I could make the rebar gun. That seems like a good idea. I can make the rebar gun fully all the way through. Expanded tool belt. Need some more bugs for that. I managed to pick up this plant while we were out and about. Uh, nutritional processor. Okay, some copper wire is required. Power slugs. Yes, I have that. What are we short on? Rotors. I don't really want to waste on scanning right now. Quartz, sulfur. Yep, we have plenty. Oh, ah, give me plenty for that. I don't need the power generation. Wouldn't mind that. Mm. Okay, so I need wire. And I think I need more rotors, right? So the... Ah, yeah, these blooming things are getting in the way. I knew they would. Um... Uh, yes, take a couple of those. And we're going to need to make rotors. Oh, and we've got some unlocks to do as well, which I'm going to do straight away. So obstacle clearing. Let's get that one done. Yes. Hooray, we can now chop stuff down. The My most important age. thing will ensure maximum efficiency is... To aid in biofuel production, okay. you are now capable of removing foliage that consists biofuel. primarily of wood. So I think you can guess what can, I'm going to do here. Uh, okay, cool. More pocket dimension. I'm going to just shove this bad boy. Oh, new plate. Uh, spent all of our reinforced plate. Um, need a bit more. We need a few more rotors as well, don't we? Hello there, Taro Prophet. Uh, alien DNA capsules going to hold on those for a second in case I have use of the bits take some of that 20 I think will be fine I need a bunch of silica as well for a memory oh actually I should oh, there's so many little so many little jobs to do all at once I will need okay oh I've got two hard drives after all I didn't realize I had two. That is fantastic news. I do like getting all the unlocks. It's kind of fun. Uh, a little bit more. Come yeah, on. Alright, that'll do. Okay, so... We need one of these up here. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, but what ifs? Uh, everything about our power system is a bit ugly. Uh, we are going to 
there. Hang on. What am I looking at here? I'm looking at a constructor. Why can't you produce... Oh, biomass. It's hiding. Solid biofuel. Okay, cool. Take that. Chunk it into there. And then... Uh, uh, uh. Make it try and make it a bit okay it can't do a bit tidier uh, okay oh, hang on oh, let's jump on top of this box here oh, okay I'm just gonna let it do its own thing there we go it's not gonna be perfect but that's fine now in the grass, I had a bunch of grass gathered, more grass I guess, and here I had a bunch of wood gathered. So that's that lot done. And I'll pick up a little bit more for my production of uh, chopping down stuff. Yes, Blade Runners, nice. Okay, cool. What was the rebar gun requirement? A mm, bunch of screws. Okay, fine. Boingy. Boingy. I love them so much. Such an aid. Pretty sure screws are here. Maybe I'll grab a few more. And then just skid my way to happiness. Alright, we'll get that rebar gun. Uh, rebar gun. I don't find the rebar gun to be that good. I think it's kind of handy if you're poking away at someone from distance. But you need a lot of ammo and it's slow. I do find the shatter rebar, which is like kind of like a shotgun. And you have to get to about sort of... Um, you have to get to about point blank range. That's really good. That's a bit more effective. How much of this do we need? I think we probably need at least a hundred. But just to get us perhaps the next unlock. So we'll get to a hundred and then see what we're looking at. Alright. What are these unlocks looking like? Sulfur, uh, cables and steel pipes, we're a little bit away from that, we're a little bit away from all of those things. Ah, oh, 200, um, yeah, inventory slots are damn handy. Shatter rebar is what I want, so I do want both types of crystals, so, whoop, jumping all over the place. So let's get to 200, and then... Uh, can I not make the other kind of crystal? Quartz crystal. I... Oh, I actually have that in my inventory. Ah, I could. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, I need 150 and a tray of... 30. How much crystal do I even have left? I might be able to make that. What if we change you to quartz crystal? Three, five to three? No, we're not going to make a productive gain on that one. Um, I can do a bit more of that. Just for now. Uh, no, we want that. Okay, reload. Clunk, throw the rebar in. Such a funny tool. So, this would be nice. Mm, not too fussed about them right now. I would like to get the Shatter rebar, but we don't really have a good consistent source of crystal yet. Yellow power shard, uh, power slugs. We have some lying around, so it's about cable and motors. Was it 25 we needed to get to rotors? Okay. I 
Let's pick up those ingredients. So, uh, some of that, I think. Uh, why not? A bit more of that. Some of that. Some of that. Oh, I've got heaps of that, I think. Uh, hmm, probably plenty. Whee! What is our next unlock? I don't really care about jump pads, so it's all about getting the elevator up. Uh, alien organisms. Can't really do that. That's a lot, but I will try and get to it. Ah, supplying Caterium. Okay, we have... Oh, good. We have plenty of the Caterium bits and bobs we need. So now we can make quick wire, I suspect. Uh, quick, no. Quick wire with the remaining ingots we have. Um, there must be another stuff I was looking at. Deuterium, no. Oh, nutritional. Yeah, I need those steel. That was it. Rotors. Ah, rotors, rotors, rotors. 25 total. I even think we can build one of the silly Christmas trees, which I might be able to do as well. I'll get this up a little bit higher. I know I need a few more for the next constructions. I'm probably going to automate rotors and plates this round, I reckon. Get them up and running. Uh, and we'll sh shove the hard drive in as well. Do we have only two reinforced plates? Where are they? Three. Oh, we really are short. Now, we don't have much of the herbals either. Hmm. I think we can go straight into making a bunch of the stuff. What do we got here? Caterium, we got a bit of coal, and we got a bunch of that. Okay, well, we're going to unlock a few things at least, so that'll be good. I need to build the uh, space elevator as well. All right. Um, don't need anything there. Okay, let's plop the alien DNA in. Good. That can start giving us some points. Oh, I can't even remember what I was trying to look at. Supplying? Nope. Nope. Ah, power slugs. That's right. Research the yellow. Okay, cool. And then we can do the, the pink ones. These are all steel involved. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that's a fair bit of quick wire. Is that enough to do anything? Ah, it's a hundred is required. Stun rebar. I don't know the point of stun rebar. If I can stun them, then I have to go up and whack them. I actually, what I really want is the extra structural analysis. Oh, we've unlocked. Okay, we have unlocked all of those. Yeah, rebar gun. I kind of want the big, um, the big sword thing. But we don't have that yet. So I was going to see what the space elevator cost. Ah, we're actually pretty on track. Just need to pick up some iron rods. We can get that one down. Uh, yeah. Alright, so where are we going to put this thing? It's always so bloody massive. Um, sort of thinking way out the back over here somewhere. 
Yeah. Right about here. It's so big. Yeah, that'll do. Boom, 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 boom. Best animation in the game. This whole process. All right, here it comes. Okay, while you're waiting that, I have to go away for like one minute, so just hold caller. Alright. Okay, uh, we got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we gotta make smart plating. 50 of them. Now, from memory, it's not a massively difficult recipe, but it is a touch of a pain. So, take all of these first and spread them around. Who needs some? You need some. You need some. Everybody gets some. Uh, whoop. Oh, there's one at the back here. Keep them going a bit longer, you two. Do you have a backlog? You actually have a backlog? Weird. Alright, that's fine. So. Oh, yeah, what was here? I did want to print out some coupons. And I wanted to check. What, what are we missing here for nutrients? Okay, cool. We're missing the pipes. So let's put a hard drive in. Um, I'm going to clear out my inventory a little bit. Don't need sulfur. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, the slugs we can process now. And that in, pop that in, I'll just leave that. Now, oh, that's right, the Christmas tree, Fixmas. Oh, I've got to produce so much plate to make a Christmas tree. That is very silly. Um, that can go in. What are we looking at here? Not so much of a frame, some bits and bobs. Okay, so. <sighs> What we have is pretty good nodes here that we could potentially upgrade. We have copper over there, so oh, we could do stitched plate. Uh, let me get a bit more fuel for you. Let's keep these all topped up. And they'll last for ages if they're all topped up. So if we're looking at uh, plate, reinforced iron plate. Uh, so we do have the 1020 to make three rather than 612 to make one. 
So this is not a particularly difficult recipe. I'm actually going to remove this thing now. It's just too annoying. Oh, we have all those tokens to spend too. No, 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 no. Yep. All right, cool. Well, let's go spend those tokens. So there is a patch of copper there. We can push that higher, the mine, to produce as much um, iron as we need. And oh, there's a shop. Almost forgot. Customizer, let us make concrete. One of the walls would be handy. I only got ten. Um, for now. Um the mounts can always be handy. What else is there? Organization. Um Sure. A bit short on quartz, but why not? Okay, cool. So uh what I actually want to do is if I look at the foundations, are they cheaper if they're concrete? They're just seven. They are actually a little cheaper. So let's go with five. I mean, they're cheaper on iron. They're a bit more expensive on um, concrete. Uh, that was going to be six. That's all of those. So do I want to change things around? Yeah, I kind of do. Just clean up these foundations I think the concrete kind of looks better nom, 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 nom. maybe we won't get everywhere just now but we'll just do this do the rest later okay so what I would like to do though is how much are you producing? 60. So we could definitely double you, get you up to 120 pretty easily. And then we could bring in copper to make our stitched iron plate. So the reinforced iron plate, the stitched version. I don't like how it calls it. Add it. Okay, add to to do list. I don't know why it's telling me that. Okay, that's not a very helpful. Um, yeah, that's kind of sort of useless. So we will need iron plate and some wire. So let us snap to grid. There's the copper there. The iron's behind me, so... Oh, let's just zoop this across a bit. I need some more concrete pretty soon. Alright, concrete. Results yet? No, four minutes. I'm going to try and keep it relatively simple here at the start, but I do want to try and automate as many of the major products as I can. Alright, so that's heaps of room. What we're going to need is iron smelters. So we're going to have to have a oh, wire. Okay, we've got heaps of wire. Where did all our wire go? Uh, no. 
No. I am amazed. I always seem to carry way more wire than I actually need, so I don't know what I did with it all. Uh, oh, I could do with a few more of these as well. Other than that... Ah, this looks okay. Maybe some bolts. Screws. Okay, so we're going to want a couple of smelters just to get us going. Uh, away from the front edge, but kind of centered. No, not there. Oh, just nudge it. Press H, nudge. Eh? Why are you not... Hmm. Sure, we'll do that. You're going to make copper ingots at 30 per minute. And behind you, you're going to make plates in a constru two constructors. Very simple. I'll put a little space there just to keep it clean. These are going to make plates at 30 per minute. Now, I can't remember now if what the wire ratios are. So if you're producing copper, so now we're getting six, 60 per minute, uh, 60 per minute plates, 30 per minute, so 60 per minute um, plate. Uh, it's going to need, f so that's going to make five, basically six per minute. So we're going to need 120. Mm. Well, we'll see what we can do, eh? So this is going to be a splitter situation. And we'll chuck it right in the m slightly off the center of the middle. No, whoops. Try again. She'll put it centered. What? Oh. Okay. That was a bit weird. Is that that one's done it too? Ah, oh, you daft thing. Okay. Okay, what is going on? Learn to build a tiny pirate. Okay. Uh, zero. Okay, that should all be good now. You will also be on wire, so you'll be making 30 a minute, you'll be making 30 a minute, you'll be producing 30 a minute, and then all the way back over here somewhere. Oh, yo, don't fall off. I did see the MAM notification, so we'll go check that out in a bit. We will get our plate popping out. So the constructor, the assembler for this, ah oh, we need plate. Okay, back over. Hey ya. Wee wee. Nice to go past the mam first. Fused wire a caterium wire. Mm, okay, do that. Another hard drive in, make some more plate. How much more plate are we going to need? I think a little bit, to be honest. Which is a bit annoying. I'm 
about that much. How many rotors are we going to need? I think some as well. Ideally I can get a couple. Can I stretch to a couple of... Oh no, what I can do... I think I probably get one constructor going. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep it 100% occupied actually. But we'll try our best. Now oh, that'll do. Okay. Wee. I love having jumpy legs. Wee. So these two, 30, 60 a minute. So it should be sitting on the center line pretty much. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that, eh? Oh, mm, maybe not quite so far back. Uh, assembler. Is there enough room for mergers and splitters there? I'll put it back. I will put it back just to be clean. So stitched iron plate. You're taking 30 per minute versus... So we're producing 30 iron is taking 18. We're producing... Feel like we can probably get two of these going, which will be a little bit of a fiddle with a manifold, but not the end of the world. So there is only two of these. So hang on, let me check. Thirty, twenty. Surely that just is two of them. I'll just jam them like that. It'll work. So, uh, do we want to do this cutely? I think we can afford to just jam this for now. Uh, and then... I might just do it with the uh, conveyor lift. So you can be that way round and you can be that way round. And you can go up this way and you can go up that way. Yeah, I reckon that just that looks just great. Uh, it is going to absolutely smash our power, though, is the only downside. Uh, what are we going to do here for power? Do like... It's just a matter of setting up the. Uh, I need one of these. Setting up the copper production and doubling the other production. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Um. Pop you that way round. And we better find you a power pole to drain off. What do you make? 60 per minute? Yeah, that works out great. Bring you up the side here.
Whereas you guys need stuff from up here, so we will split in this way. Whoop. Uh, and here, going to need to overclock this to get it up to 120. Yeah. Uh, where are we dismantling you? Um, now can we just put a, a small... How about a one meter foundation directly in front? Some, oh, I just always do that. Okay, that's tidy enough. And we'll put a splitter in so that we can take this 120 out and send it in two different directions. So it'll need to be three, and then I press E again for the Mark II belt. Okay, I need some plate. All right. Oh, well, exactly one reinforced plate, apparently. I can make some quick screws. I just want a couple more plate just in case. All right. So then we get 120 out of that big mine, and then we split it into 260s, and that's heaps of production. Oh, did take two after all. So we got two. Oh, okay. Uh, now you can just join up there. And you, we will send, uh, down like that. Wham, 120 coming out, 60 in a minute. Okay, now what are we going to do about, whoop, I would quite like, oh, yeah, we got these guys, uh, pick up them up them. Actually, I will just go and drop all that ore in those smelters before they get too loaded. Let's just see what it does to our power situation. Oh, you're on copper, you're on iron. Take all of that. Yep, good. Uh, can I fit another container just around here? Like, it's a little weird, but I can move the belt on top. Um, try again, but I'll try and keep it square. Can I do it like that? Yeah, okay. But we are going to have to fix this because that's an unconscionable sin to have stuff clipping through. Um, and we can just probably pull it up and then it can come. Uh, and then we just need to throw them merger out the back here and it's all actually working like I don't think this is uh I thought it was working why aren't you oh because your recipes aren't set no oh because you're not connected that would make a difference eh like I don't think these are going to be like the most efficient you know productions ever I haven't bothered to get the ratios right or anything but yeah what ifs a uh, merger. Want this to go this way. Yeah. And if someone wants to tell me the ratios or the dial, the clocks, I should the clock dialing. I should do. You're welcome to. 
I might pay attention. There we go. Uh, awesome. We have plate coming in and the mammoth's done. And let's see what the mammoth's saying. Turn a copper rotor. That could be quite good. I feel like we're fine on our plate. I, I quite like the copper recipe. It's pretty straightforward. And reduce it. It means I can spend more time on iron. We always seem to have a surfeit of copper. So I'll try that one. Um, was there anything else to do? No, I wanted to get another another assembler down just oh well, I need plate that's fine I got some coming in just so I could look at those rotated plate recipes which I think does involve some of this plate and it involves rotors from memory okay what's this coming in mm. now what was it again I can probably look it up. Smart plating. So we have to build a rotor. There's two ways of doing that now. With copper. Um, that's actually quite... It's twice the iron. But we get to use a lot more. That's actually pretty good. Now, from memory over here, we're only using. Yeah, we're only. I mean, I think. Can we? Oh, we can't really crank this up anymore. We're not using everything we could do, so we we could put in. Yeah, we could put in a line for the rotors, and then start creating the smart plating off that so it's on 60 a minute we're only processing 30 so we have a whole extra amount of processing that we could do so what would that even look like it would be something like that to produce copper and then one of these to produce takes 20 uh, it's kind of a pain isn't it it's not a full so you end up with one of them running at 50 percent Twenty to 40 so you'd have to dial this to 50 percent so you're using th uh, hang on 30 per minute what am I saying? 30 per minute, and this one is going to be making 10, and this one is going to be making, sorry, 10, 5 is 15. And then you have an assembler back here, which I don't have the plate for right now. I feel like I would need to bring in more iron. Uh, somewhere around about here to produce rotors and that's using 11 per minute oh no sorry it's using 20 per minute and we're producing 15 so it's a, be a little bit slow then it needs 195 screws a minute which we would struggle to maintain But I'm kind of inclined to wire it up anyway. Uh, oh, kind of overdid the. I'll take that one down. Um. 
we did a splitter coming in. I mean, even if I don't have it complete till I figure out the iron situation, I'm still quite happy to do it. Um, pop that power pole about here. coming in da, da, da. I mean I could mm. don't really have the belts I'd have to upgrade all the belt we can leave that for now that's fine and then what we would need is a merger line coming out this way oh is that even is that even in the right place? No, it might actually be in the right place from the get-go. What do you know? Oh, uh... Okay, that's a little bit bent, but never mind. Where would I find the iron? So I do have a map review thing I can look at. Copper, copper... There is a lot of iron. There is some iron south. Mm. Sort of over there. I mean, it would kind of make sense to bring it in. It's, it's pretty important. We need to get those rotors done so we can get to coal. Uh, grab those. Uh, do I have... I do have some of those spare. Don't know why I made one. I had them in my inventory the whole time. Could do with a little bit more plate. So we'll do that now. Why not grab some screws while we're here? The other frustrating thing, of course, is that these systems tend to back up real fast. Well, relatively fast. I mean, I can and probably will throw a smart sink in because the plate is pretty done. But it also almost feels like a waste of the resources, right? Because I haven't created a main bus. It doesn't really seem quite as viable a strategy and satisfactory as it is in, um, as in, in games like Factorio. Uh, it, it just doesn't pan out long term very well, I don't think. Look at these bar oh, man. Oh, did that not even hit? Oh, what is? Oh, wow, actually he died really hard. Did that hit him or did it? I actually don't think it hit him. That did. So you do have to lead a little bit at distance. Okay, that was a lot more powerful than I expected. I feel like I'm still not hitting. I heard that one. Ah, there we go. Okay, wow, that was a lot easier. Is that pick up a ball? No, limestone. Alright, cool. I'm I'm a bit of a convert. That is the iron patch from memory. Didn't bring power with me, of course, because I'm an idiot. Okay, go that way. No, copper. Wow, no, 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 no. What am I looking at? Let me check map again. Oh, 
have I gone now I've gone too far south need to go a bit west Where, where, where? That's still a bit further west. Ah, there's the top of the node, I think. Mm, it's a bit of a haul, but I've seen worse. No, that is not the top of the node. That looks like some, no, copper ore I don't want. Ah, here it is. One of these chaps to blow away. No chance. Yay. Okay, wow. I think in the past I've had issue with the rebar gun because I didn't know you should lead it. Because in some of the environments it's pretty hard to tell what you should be doing with it. Just because it's very um, hard to see the fall of the shot. Alright. Iron node. We're going to have to... We're going to start having power issues soon. I can just feel it. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, safe was going on. Fine. Right, mine. Bam. Okay, cool. Let's do the power first so that it can start gathering. What is that? Oh, that's the copper, is it? I think it's copper. giant parcel on the lemon thing. Come here. Hello there, Twitchy for life. Doing a little bit of a chill stream, middle of the day for me. Uh, we need this to go up here. Actually, what even purity was that spitting out? It's spitting out 120. Wow, okay. We do not have anywhere near enough plate to be able to bring this in at 120, but that is really good to know. Oh, I can't have clipping. Okay, I can't be... I don't know if I can be bothered fixing it. I'm going to have to come... Yeah, we'll do that. Run. We don't have enough of the... Yeah, we don't have enough of the heavy... The reinforced plating yet to be able to uh, take advantage of 120 a minute. Because as soon as we do, we can upgrade some of these production lines... But for now, uh, we will just bring it in over here. Because what we're going to need is a whole bunch of screws, which I've realized I haven't really laid this out very well for that. But we're going to need... We're going to be taking 60 just because we are. Uh, I've done it again, haven't I? Um, uh, just pop that over here, maybe. Not very consistent with my powering. It's a bit embarrassing, I know. What? Oh, okay. It's done. Okay, good. Iron. I don't have cast iron screws or anything, which is a real shame. I've been diligently working on the recipes, but one actually 
Oh, that'll work. It's just going to be... Do I want to move these over a little bit? Maybe I do want to do something a bit different. Uh, what are you doing for iron rods? Oh, 15 a minute. Yeah. So we're going to have to do it like this, four of them. Because these are going to be producing 30 each. Iron. Iron. Rods. Uh, control copy. Control V. Control V. Control V. Uh, splitter in front of here. No. Uh, yep. And oh, another one has to... Well... Front of here, go like that. One's gonna come. And then one, two, to get the nice 90 degree turns. Yes. So now we're gonna be producing 15, 30, 60 per minute, I would say. And this needs a splitter. Where are they? They're slightly on the inbound. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Uh, you guys need to be powered, of course. Uh, put one there. One there. Uh, and then... We need to line up potentially a whole rack of, I'm thinking sort of over here. <clears throat> All right, we got to do a splitter to make 60, <clears throat> sorry, it's a whole bunch of screws. Ah, uh, so we're potentially up to stop. Okay. can try and pull power. Where is a power pole that isn't saturated? Oh, these tier one power poles are just the worst. Um, I'll put that here at least, eh? fit six in. I'm actually not even sure we realistically can. Like, our road of production might just be a bit slow. I think I do want to arrange it the right way around and we can use some clever techniques to move the completed screws back. For now, maybe just do this. thing is that even that amount is, uh, do I want to make anything there? Mm 
I might just leave it that so we can oh, I could just underclock something a little bit and save some iron yeah that's what I would have thought but it's about to happen we are going to have to do is generate a merger at the back and then just slide things up there which isn't the end of the world uh, yep and another one about here so they are going to have to get uh, mark twos I think we're just going to accept that this will be a bit slower than we would wish. Uh, yeah, I think it's just going to be a bit slower on the rotor production than would be 100% efficient. And since I am almost sur certainly going to have a sur surplus of iron, I can probably find something else to do with all that iron in due course. Might fire it in the other direction as well, build out back towards the mine. Um, Mark 2 belt. Uh, Mark 2 belt. Down here. Hooray! That, that actually will work once we turn it on. So let's go fix the power situation. Uh, where is the power container all right so who's out of fuel they're all out of fuel you take 200 You're kind of a pain to fuel so I'll give you heaps 200 200 uh, 100 100 a uh, 100, uh, 100. Is that enough? Yeah, seems fine. I'm surprised. I well, we'll see once the machines start working. Put this in. Yeah, that's a lot of factory. The final thing I need to do is take those two sets of outputs and split them to a degree. Oh, uh, do I just do it by hand? I'm kind, well, rotors, smart plating. I'm okay doing that. Like, I don't want crazy amounts of it, after all. It is just going to go straight into the into the machine over there and not use, use be used for anything else in ages. Oh, this is slow, isn't it? What is... Um, oh, have you not got a... Uh, oh, no power. That would explain the slowness. Um... Okay, well, that will certainly double things a bit. Yeah, you're cranking away. Good. Could I just do... No, I actually really want the cheap screws um, hard drive unlock, but I have looked around on the map and the, I know from the map editor stuff that the next hard drives is one here. Then there's one way down here somewhere. And this one requires, the one close by requires 35 motors. The other one requires 10 motors. That's further down and one's no requirement. So it's kind of a hassle. Oh, but you know, smart plating is happening. So we can do that. Okay. Okay. It's probably about time that I stop for now. I've had a good little run. 
and uh, hopefully you've found it interesting enough. How long have we been going for? Oh, I can't even tell anymore. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with where the factory is at right now for a sort of basic build. Uh, this thing will be up and running soon. We'll be able to work on coal power pretty soon, I think. Um, especially with rotors and uh, plate organized. I will have to think about what I... Oh, stop, I'm trying to jump. I'll have to think about what I build next, as in uh, I've got all of these... Um, I've got rotors and plate basically automated. Oh my god, just want to climb up here. I've got rotors and plate basically automated. Not efficiently, but that'll do. I mean, look, that's... It's pretty sat actually that's pretty sat well it is saturated because it's 120. I don't have faster belt right now to load it even if I wanted to, so it is just gonna have to work at what it can do. So um I mean arguably I could produce, you know, I could have two machines going, but I also suspect that this won't keep up as well. In fact I'm gonna take some of these out just to hold in my inventory. Yep, and here comes replacements already due to that nice recipe, that alternate recipe that we've got. It's helping things along a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. We should be able to knock through this relatively promptly. But I think what I have to do probably right now is do a massive run around and gather all the blimmin' biomass I can. Go make a chainsaw. Uh, to decimate a few forests. Add to, you know, heat, the heat out here. Uh, and then once I've done that, should be in a good place to work on coal, which I'll do in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day, and I will catch you soon.